Hello, my beautiful words of love and light, and welcome to Essence Divine. My name is Sabrina, and today's Pick a Card reading, we're doing spring cleaning. What is it that you need to refresh in your life? What do you need to get rid of? What is it that you no longer serve in you? Get, clean out those closets of yours. Um, revitalize, renew. What is it? Spring is coming. So it's all about what we need to get rid of, what we need to keep. And then we're gonna, I'm going to show you um, the outcome and also a message from spirit. So now look at all these cards. I will pick pile number one is the Dahlia. And with the bloodstone, pile number two is violet with this beautiful milk amber. Pile number three is honeysuckle with this gorgeous amber. And pile number four is a white rose with the citron. The reason I have all these stones on top here is because I'm hiding the message. So we'll see that in the pick a card. All right, so I'll give you a little few minutes to meditate and I'll see you soon. lesson <laughs> or like this is a they, their dahlias originated in Mexico and the Empress Josephine brought them over to France when the Spanish went to conquer the other side of the world um, dignity it's um, its message says it's easy enough to simply attract momentary attention but to earn the ongoing respect of others requires frequent displays of dignity Hmm. So let's see what's going on with this this reading. So the first cards I'm going to pull out is what you need to refresh, what you need to renew in your life, what needs to you need the cleaning in your life. So let's start with these cards. Oh, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. The Five of Materials, which is the Five of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, that's very interesting that you need to get rid of this, which are the happiest card of the deck and the soulmate card of the deck. So, but I mean, right away I could see something, like it, it denotes happiness and soulmate here, but with the five of pentacles next to it, so maybe there is, a, maybe you, there's a divorce happening, this is alimony, or maybe you've lost, you've, um, one of you has lost a job and there's like a bit of tension in the home because the knight of swords energy is this um it's a warrior energy but it's also uh very um ambitious energy so let's think here um something you need to get rid of right something you need to clean up in your life so let's say we see the ten of cups the ten of cups is the happiness card so maybe Maybe there's a false sense of happiness in your home or in your relationship with your soulmate or your mate. It doesn't have to be a soulmate, but it could. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be always in love. Uh, two of cups. Two of cups comes out sometimes, and we always assume it's lovers. But um, it could be in a friendship. It could be in a business partnership, because I see the money thing here. And there's like a lack of money so some of you are needing to um, clean up in the sense of your relationship because there's money issues underlying money issues and you're wanting to do something else you're wanting to step outside of this uh, happy circle here because of this Knight of Swords energy, it's, I feel like um, some of you are wanting to like, here, I always feel like it's Machu Picchu in the clouds. So some of you are wanting to travel. Some of you wanting to leave. Like He's in flight, right? This unicorn, the horse is in flight. There's a portal here. Could be that some of you are um, needing to heal. Maybe because this is like a lack of money, but it also could be um, 
a victim mentality, anxiety, it could be um, like discomfort in this relationship. Maybe you were at one point super happy and it was a really good relationship, it started, but now there's like the progression has like there's money problems in the house or um, you're not really feeling. You're, see, you're, you're seeing the half, the glass half full and you're wanting to get out. But you don't know how because everybody sees you like really happy in this relationship. This is obviously a general reading, so this is one a group I'm seeing here. Um, because there's this five of materials, some of you may have lost a job. Some, some of you may have lost it, like a, a, or it doesn't have to be a job because it's, it's materials. It could just be you not feeling like you can, um, like she's like lying down. You feel helpless and hopeless a bit. Even though this like energy is really positive, could be also something like like I said is an underlying thing like everybody else sees this of you sees you happy and like really set in your life but you're you're feeling this lack in your life you're feeling let down you're a bit depressed and it's like the spring cleaning is like okay doesn't matter what everyone else thinks about you like uh, regain your dignity get up and maybe you've lost a job, maybe you have no money in your bank now, whatever. There's like this feeling of hopelessness when it comes to money. And you're like, I'm, I, I, I should be happy and I, I shouldn't be like wanting to leave and like explore. But this is the feeling I'm getting for your group number one. There's a, some of you that are um, wanting to uh, walk away from this even though everyone else sees it as like beautiful you're not feeling it like that and you're you're having a hard time stepping away from it because it's secure it's stable like um your partner has money or you have money it doesn't matter what it is but there's a stability there could be children and that's the reason why you're not leaving because ten of cups is children as well I just feel like some of you are lying to yourself or um, hiding behind this glean and this shine and there's this feeling of like wanting to just explore other things or, or higher learning, learn, go start something new like education, something because Knight of Swords is that, it's all about mental energies. This is what you need to keep in this reading, so let's see what comes out, fairy spotting and healing. Fairy spotting, it's time to go fairy spotting. It's said that seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. That's an important message here. Healing is now is the time for you to give up, give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Okay. So, okay, wow. So some of you like having to are wanting to leave this happiness behind, but it's okay to keep like you don't need to like just because you're leaving something behind, whether it's a relationship or a partnership, business, or just a friendship or just um, even um, I'm seeing something else now because it doesn't like like I say it doesn't always have to be set in stone and everything. So this could be just you. You have a really good job. You have great friends. You have like a, a amazing hobbies. You're really happy in your life. You're really happy. This Ten of Cups is really happy. It's happiness. Two of Cups could be self love. You like completely love yourself. Da da da. You feel like um, completely balanced and aligned. Yet um, maybe some of you are you you're struggling with money or you're struggling with something that's inside of you. You're struggling with like an inner hidden issues. Like you're struggling with like the, on the facade, it looks really good, but inside you're, you're not really happy with yourself and you're wanting to like 
leave. It's not that it's not even running away. It's just you just want to explore and uh, expand your knowledge or like start something new, start a new course, start a new job, uh, go out and travel the world. Just do something new with your life. You're feeling a bit restrained in this facade of happiness. And this comes down as like, you can keep the healing part of this, of what it is, because it's, it's still beautiful, even though it's on the, on the surface, there is still love here. There's still like self-love that you have for yourself. There's still like love from your husband or your children. There's still love this, but you're, it's like a personal journey in this one, pile number one. Like believing is seeing, so doing, um, starting again to believe in yourself like keep the love strong keep the the healing energy strong here but it doesn't mean that there's a real i really feel like there's a party that just wants to um go okay what is the outcome the three of them pop freedom wow three of them popped out so let's see what's going on protection and blessings I mean, freedom says it all here for me. This is this Knight of Swords energy and freedom. It's this idea, like this portal, going through this portal, releasing yourself from the cage, the beautiful gilded cage. It could be like a very rich, luxurious cage. It could be very filled with happiness, and that, but you're not feeling it, pile number one. You're feeling this need to not like escape in a bad way, though. You're just feeling to free yourself from this con like this constraints of the perfect life let's say like you're not seeing it as a perfect life anymore you're you've reached a different level of your life blessings i mean it's beautiful uh it's like almost you're getting blessings from up above and they're telling you follow your heart follow your intuition this big moon here in the beh and behind the light is in her hands. It's like you are a light. You are a powerful light being. It's you don't need to follow the rules of life. You don't need to follow because this is what it's supposed to be. There's none of that. There's no rules in life. If you're feeling lack somewhere in your life, whether it's like a relationship, a business, a job, uh, anywhere, any personal love, whatever, and you're wanting to free yourself, then then you should, right? Like it. We're not tied to people in our lives. I, I understand if you have children, then that's a different story. But still, you it's like um, you're being protected by Gaia. You're being protected by Mother Earth. You're, this could also be some of you um, feels like pregnancy, right? It feels like maybe some of you want to be pregnant, let's say. And maybe you're in a relationship that he or she or he doesn't want to be and you, you're feeling this you're a bit depressed and you're needing to leave and th th there's a lot of instances here of a lot of things this is really beautiful reading but let's see what else these are um messages from spirit success self-love how beautiful self-love show me how to love myself show me how to take care of the inner child Show me how to be kind within when you step into self-forgiveness. So much can change on the outside. Wow. That's exactly what we're talking about. Success from the angel cards. I mean, what does success mean to you, right? It feels like some of you are um, needing to believe in your... Uh, maybe you're expanding. The more I look at the cards, maybe you're expanding your uh, your inner... Um, wisdom, your inner, like your um, connection to spirit, your connection to the light, and if it's not jiving with this perfect facade, and that's why some of you are feeling a bit low. But it's like remember that healing being that you are, and continue healing yourself. And if healing means you have to uh, step outside of this cage then so be it if it means um, exploring and exploring your intuition or like believing believing in yourself 
or like going out into nature, like maybe there's something out there that's completely different than what you normally do. This feeling of protection from Mother Earth is just beautiful because no matter what choice you make, um, they're here for you. And I love that there's, if you look, there's um, little butterflies, dragonflies. So there's this feeling of, is not escaping, I don't want to say that, of just setting yourself free from um, the norms of society. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a relationship just because the Two of Cups is here, but it's just this heaviness of what's going on in the world and how we need to follow the rules kind of thing. This is, a, if we take it a bit further, that's what I, it could be. Like you're fed up of following the rules, you're fed up of feeling depressed and you feel like, the, like the burdens are, and you're, you're not interested in this life. You just want to get up and just move and fly. And the outcome is freedom and blessings. So it's in self-love. Continue loving yourself. Continue healing yourself. Success is around the corner. So a lot of people like um, think, oh, if you, if you can't be in that relationship anymore, and if you can't be with that high-end job and if you can't have that car or that house anymore it's a failure there's no failure in life because every failure is usually a, a message from the spirit saying no this is not the right this is not the right place for you this is not the right relationship for you this is not the right job this is not the right and it's they're always nudging you forward into something new it's just that we like get caught in the like the misstep where we get caught in that failure and we say, oh my God, we're such losers, blah, 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 blah. And then we lose out on this next step, except for taking and say, um, letting it, just let it go. Let, a, let go of the expectations and just fly. Remember the dignity. Like have respect for your soul, have respect for your light. And having respect for your light is to heal yourself and continue doing what you want to do, not what everyone else around you wants to do. Um, I really, there's something, she keeps looking at me and I'm like, yes, okay, what is going on here? Protection. It's like, um, you're, being, you're being protected by the guides, you're being protected by Mother Nature, you're being protected by the light. Uh, just uh, continue on your journey, pile number one. Listen to your heart. Go into your heart, listen to your intuition, listen to wh where it's directing you. Um, try not to uh, follow the rules of everyone else, like people pleasing, it's not working. Your husband, your children will understand, your friends will understand, your boss, your colleagues will understand. And if, and if they don't, that's like something that needs to be dealt with, like with them and you. It's like. I'm not telling you what to do here again. It's just what I'm seeing in the cards and I just feel like there's this, it could it could even be you're just single and you're alone and you're doing this too, right? You're just needing to um, try something new, trying to find something new in your life. Like a rebirth, right? Like it's spring, but you're, 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 you're the same person, but you're just trying to find a new path towards this healing of your soul. Like a freedom. Like these cards, I really believe that these cards are like, they feel really good in this pile. It's this like opening up of your light, opening up of who you are, finding out who you really are. And maybe this spring equinox is, is doing that for you. Step into self-forgiveness. I like that. All right, pile number one. <laughs> if this didn't resonate, go check pile two, three, four. As usual, go check my other pick a card readings. I have tons of them on my channel. Um, happy spring and I love you. Hello, pile number two. And we, for those of you who picked this beautiful milky amber and the violet card, which is faithfulness and modesty. I wanna read to you a little bit that comes out of this book because I thought it was really beautiful. Sometimes the quietest voice with a modest message is the one that holds the greatest wisdom. Something I need to learn, but <laughs> that's just beautiful. So let's see what's going on with this reading. So I'm going to pull out the cards that what you need to clean up. 
what what you need to clean up in your life, like what needs renewal, refresh. Let's see what's happening. The magician. The page of wands. This one. The page of wands again. Oh. The fool in reverse. And the hermit in reverse. All right, so. The hermit is a Virgo card. The fool is ruled by Uranus, so it could be an Aquarius card. This, the wands is Aries, Leo, Sag, and the magician is G Gemini, Virgo. So, oh, two Virgos, so interesting. So right away, the magician is like manifesting, creating your reality, so, but you're needing to renew and refresh. The princess of wands is um, this like fiery spirit, visionaries, hmm childlike enthusiasm new opportunities these could also be your children if you have kids because there's two of them here so um maybe maybe there's like some a group here that needs to let go of their kids <laughs> in a sense like uh, let them live their life let them be free um let them to do like to to start a new journey maybe you're holding the wand for these children and you're like um creating and controlling their life and this 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 is like a message to you to just like let it go because the fool card in reverse is um, like the fool is about taking risks, but the fool card of verse about being insecure, being too impulsive, maybe doing something, um, holding back. The hermit in reverse as well. Like the hermit is all about going within, what's that? But in reverse, it's like they're not, you're not, you're not seeing clearly. Doesn't have to be only children, obviously, but. That could be one group here, but there's something, um, maybe some of you are, um, you're starting a new business or you're starting something new in your life, but you're, um, you're having a hard time, like you're not believing in your um, skill set because you have this potential, you're very, wise you're very clever <clears throat> the magician right but yet your fool in reverse is saying to me that you're um maybe you're you're used oh this could be it maybe you're you're so you have so much talent and you're not sure where to put your talent or you're insecure about your talent and you have a lot of like ideas you have a lot of like um you're almost yeah, you're full inspiration, but you're a bit cluttered or scattered. You're not able to hone in on one thing from these as well. And it, because there's a, these two Virgo energies, it's interesting. They're interesting energies because Virgo is very um, methodical and analytical in the way they work. And here there's this upside down, upside down, this reverse. And it, feel, it feels like they're stuck. So yeah, so there's that, there's these, that's two groups already. There could be um, Prince, the Page of Wands is, um, it could also be that you're, uh, like it doesn't, if you're starting a new project or a, a school or job or a relationship, could be a relationship too, actually. Because Page of Wands, fire energy, it's like very, uh, passionate so maybe some of you have started a relationship with someone younger than you and you're um you, you're trying really hard to make it work but it's just like at a standstill and maybe it's time to just let go of all the uh insecurities that you're bringing into this relationship because he's younger or she's younger than you there's this very like um pause moment that you're having and it's like it's they're, they're like the message is like it's okay start believing in your this power that you have because you have this 
like the magician is like has all the tools in front of him and he, he can um, create his own path he can create his own reality he can do whatever he wants because he feels confident about it yet there's this feeling of um, low self-confidence and so there's this feeling of um, restriction almost because you're bringing it on yourself yeah yeah it's very interesting i <laughs> love these cards Okay, let's let's look at look let's look at uh, what else there's coming out here because um, that's not it. Um, what is spirit asking you to keep? Oh, abundance. Okay, that's great. We like that. And hidden debts. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Abundance, prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Yo, release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land. There's enough abundance for everyone. So there is a blockage you're having. So I really like this card because hidden depth, depths. It says something is hidden about to come to light. This reminds me of this. This hermit in reverse. Something hidden. Like it, the hermit card you're um you're resisting something in your life you're holding back it's almost like you're avoiding a truth and here it's like your hidden is about to come like a hidden truth so what is going on here I, it's very interesting and this is like what you need to keep so whether it's a you in a love position, whether it's you with children, whether it's you um, starting something new, starting, um, but there's this feeling of you letting go of insecurity. It's you of letting go this, um, like stepping outside of this hermit mode. This is like your, the hermit card in reverse is like about hiding. It's about holding back something. It's like a silent treatment almost. You're, um, oh, interesting, Sabrina. <laughs> that's interesting for the ones that are like in a relationship or the one, the, the parent that's hold, like, like helicoptering the, or controlling their kids. There might be a silent treatment happening here. <laughs> okay, like, it's like I've, I've, I've already like, like it could be, there's some of you in that relationship of yours that maybe he's uh, he or she is like holding back from you because of your insecurities is giving you a bit of a silent treatment, maybe ghosting you in a way, and you're feeling insecure about it. It's time to let go of those things. It's time to let go of these insecurities that you have. It's time to harness this magician inside you, this like resourceful, creative manifester that you are that you can get anyone you want, you can do whatever you want. If you're a parent that's like this with a child and it's time to let go of whatever it is, those issues that you're holding on to your children for. Maybe it's because you don't want, you're holding on to them because you, you're afraid of moving on to the next path. And then these come in and the abundance is coming for you once you let this go, right? And this hidden depths is very interesting for something is hidden is about to come to light. There could be a little bit of ghosting happening here with the love and you're feeling insecure about it. But all this to say is that you have this magician energy inside you and it's time to remember the power that you are. If this is like the issue with the child, maybe you're getting a silent treatment from your children <laughs> because you're controlling them and you're feeling like lesser than about it, but it's okay. So like, it, I feel like the, there's like this feeling of retracting letting go of the insecurities because you have this power here if this is all about you um not in love and not with children it's just you starting a new project starting a new passion in your life and not feeling secure enough to go on with it not feeling like um, anyone wants to hear your truth and then they're here they're saying it's like whatever is hidden whatever you're holding on to it's time to let go it's time to let go of it even though this says keeping we're going to keep the abundance though <laughs> i mean the abundance 
maybe is coming from these new projects that you have maybe it comes from the love because it could be abundance of love there's a lot of interesting energy here but there's this really feel big feeling here i feel of um some of you um holding on to something of the past or holding on to an old a behavior of yours and it's like it's almost like it's time for new right it's time to re it's a rebirth it's a renewal it's springtime let's let's do away with all these insecurities because you have so much power right you have stop hiding from your yourselves stop hiding from your truths hmm let's continue let's take out all the cards to see what's going on so this oh nice transformation is the outcome beautiful oh this one too came out okay this is empowerment beautiful when you ask the divine to take over you get pulled into your own authentic power it's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnif magnificent no, magnificence unfold my true and radiant self dear lord that's beautiful empowerment that's what we need empowerment away from this insecurity truth oh my god, oh my god. That's so funny. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. I kind of like this with this. It's like faithfulness and modesty. Right? Modesty is this, like not no reason to talk too much. No reason to... Um, just be good with your truth. Wait. Interesting. Wait is message. Hmm. Wait. Wait. So, okay, transformation. So there's change going to be happening for you. Pile number two, there's, uh, you're stepping into your empowerment. You're stepping into your truth. But there's this need for you to step away from an insecurity, for a low self-confidence of a disbelief in your um your abilities to um, for this change. Step outside of these hidden truths. This um, weight. Oh, that's really interesting. The weight card. It's like oh here. I don't know if you see it even. Yeah, here. Weight is like um, for those of you in this in a relationship that there's this silent treatment maybe or you're you're there's a struggle because you're insecure about it and you're not sure where it's going then it's like spirit is like just be patient just let things flow stop uh, creating cre creating like um scenarios like step outside of yourself stop stop hiding it's easier to hide right but um allow things to happen naturally when if it's with your children let's say same thing allow things to happen naturally allow um allow them to grow and take their path that they need to take allow them to take those risks on their own it's okay they can handle it but maybe it's a, it's about you too maybe it's you needing to step outside of yourself and starting to find new ways to do things find new ways of freedom change death to the old ways and rebirth of the new wow that's really good even for those who are in jobs or looking for a new personal journeys single people out there you're magnificent beings you stay true to your authenticity stay true to who you are and things are will start to unfold things will start to happen for all of you here on in the pile number two that there's abundance waiting for you there's beautiful change there's like a, a feels really very positive but there's this patience here from spirit from the angels are saying don't worry about it just no expectations just let things flow hey guys sorry my video cut short i just want to say i love you and i'll see you in the next pick a card hello pile three for those of you who pick the amber and the honeysuckle which is domestic happiness and devoted affection i will wine wine thee in my arms so doth the woodbine the honeysuckle gently and twist shakespeare today <laughs> okay <laughs> so I'll, I'll read a little bit from what it says here i read something interesting right now 
It is believed that if allowed to grow up, up around the entranceway, the honeysuckle will protect the home and the inhabitants. Thus, it has also come to symbolize domestic happiness. Bring your best self to the relationships that are the closest to your heart. Even the well-established bonds of affection still need mindful tending to thrive. Thoughtfulness, support, and kind words go a long way toward maintaining a happy home life. Okay. So we're looking at home life, perhaps, but let's see what's going on here. Ace of Coins. Justice in Reverse. Strength in Reverse and the page of swords in reverse so that's good that means there's blockages that need to be released ace of coins is all about money coming in it's all about a new job a new promotion could be new love that's come in something very grounding because it's a root chakra something that is like stabilizing a foundational for you but there's this justice in reverse so justice in reverse is all about um unfairness it could be divorce, it could be separation, it could be a legal contract that's broken, um, injustice, um, lies, because it's usually truth, justice, it could be like an imbalance of emotional, spiritual, mental, physical, you know, that, that kind of um, thought process here. Um, you could be in a moral or ethical ethical dilemma with something huh you could be feeling guilty about something and the strength in reverse is like people walking all over you it could be you're you're not feeling confident about something but it could also mean that you have an inflated ego interesting and the page of swords energy is like Page of Swords is all, it's like an intellect thinker, um, very clear about a new project that's coming in, but the, in reverse, it's a bit confused, a bit unclear of where to go forward. Could also be people talking and gossiping around you. So what is this saying to you? So here it's like, um, there could be like some of you that are in the middle of a divorce or separation and there's like money involved and it's like um, it's there's children involved as well so there's like this push and pull this tug of war that's happening with uh, everyone in the family and it's like very disempowering to you that you could be dealing with a Leo that's super high inflated ego it doesn't have to be a Leo but it could be that <laughs> this is a Libra card this is a Gemini Libra uh, Aquarius card these are earth signs so if those are relevant to you right now but there's obviously there's some something like maybe you're lying to yourself about some a situation that you're in could be a job or a business that you're dealing with um, you're feeling you're feeling not good about something here there's someone there's there's like a, a misstep this could also be like with this like um you have like a sharp tongue with the page of voices and maybe your your tongue is a bit too sharp maybe you're um slinging those words around that are not being helpful and they're a bit negative so interesting like energies there's a lot of different um, scenarios that could be here because you could be at a loss of money because of a situation like a legal contract that you're up against could be the tax time tax time now so <laughs> you're up against with the government or and it's it's making you feel like lesser than communication there's a, there's a there's a, a crux in the communication uh, there could be someone lying to you you could be lying to someone there's a that feeling here as well about money but uh it feels home because it's uh, the domestic happiness, but it doesn't have to be. It could also be um, karma playing out right now in your life, and you're having to come down with your ego, and you're having to um, look at things clearly, but step back instead of being impulsive about it. There could be like abundance coming to your coming, the prosperity, something coming good to you, but you're holding it back. 
and it's time and you're holding because you're insecure about something maybe a job came you got a raise or promotion you're they're like yeah and then you're like mm, i don't want it because I, I i don't think i can do it you're you have a there's like a blockage here but it, there's definitely a feeling that someone might be blocking you from this prosperity or this happiness or this new love or this new beginning because they're like um not being truthful to you and they're they're coming from an ego mind or they're like they're they have like the strength card or inverse is also like boundaries like you, ha you having to set boundaries around yourself and uh, maybe it's time to do that maybe there's like this is what this, these cards are saying it's time to set your boundaries it's time to like draw a line of fairness Hmm. Let's see what uh, spirit wants you to keep, come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working is, as a team helps get the job done. This could also, it, it could mean that you're working alone and you're not feeling like you have help. You feel like people are against you and this is like, Go and reach out to those people that empower you. Go and reach out to those people that want to see you thrive, or want to see you succeed, who want to help you get closer to um, prosperity and abundance instead of this kind of people that are like speaking um, bad, like behind your back. Let's see what the outcome is. I'm just going to tie it all together because I want to see what's going on here. Psychic abilities, empowerment. Empowerment is beautiful, right? There's, so you're being asked to step in, in, into your power here, pile number three. Step away from those that want to keep you down. Step away from those um, silver tongues, I guess that's what they're called. Like people who speak ill of you, who... Uh, when, it's, when they have a chance to like bring you down, they do that. People who just want to come into your space all the time and like hound you with their negative energy. People who are emotionally not balanced, I guess. They're not helpful in your progress. They're not helpful with your growth, with your new beginning. So uh, find that your outcome is good. So that you're, you're going to be empowered. You're going to find a way out of this. You're going to find a way to crawl out of this and hone in on your spiritual abilities, but it's more than just that, honing in on your spiritual gifts. It's also just honing in on the strength, the light that you are. Because once you, when you hone in on that third eye, then you can see through the lies. You can see through the slander. You can see through the ego. You can, you can um, grab hold of that strength. You can um, find that stability again. Let's see what the messages from spirit are travel okay <laughs> okay let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony may divine order arrange and handle every detail i'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown hmm this doesn't have to be necessarily travel like physical travel it could be astral traveling for any of you who are who, are, who know what that means it could also be um traveling just to get outside of your ordinary life gets outside of this uh this life that keeps you stuck in this old paradigm and gets you like expansive and grow growing gets you in with the fairies and coming together with your soul tribe let's see what else there is here with oh <laughs> romance romance is nice to see so romance so maybe some of you are going to find romance once you clear your way out of this dense path that is there like there, there's like people around you that um keeping you down maybe you're gonna you come out and find romance with yourself like self-love um, romance with your love with your spirit guides but maybe you're gonna find romance and money look at that man domestic happiness is coming it's just, it I think it's like it's a message to like come into your own power come into this uh, 
connection with yourself. It's, it's all about discernment. Like there's, there's people around you that are lying to you, manipulating you or keeping you down. Then it's like use that third eye and, and discern between these people that are not good for you and learn how to just say no or just walk away from this kind of people. When you empower yourself, you, you don't need to attack or uh, respond negatively to people. You can just let people go and walk away from these kinds of people. Walk away, it could be the, the travel card also. It's just like, let people r ruminate in their own um, negativity. You need to just step out, raise those arms of yours and, like, and grow and fly, right? I like it, but romance is kind of fun. So yeah, there's some romance coming in. Maybe coming together is like that too. You'll find with your soul tribe, you'll find someone new in your life that's gonna honor you and love you, respect you, and respect your boundaries as well. And rejoice in this love, in this prosperity, and abundance that you are bringing in with, to them or with them together. All right, pile number three. <laughs> this is beautiful. So, uh, if this didn't resonate, go ahead and check pile number one, two, and four. If not, if the, it did, then check out my other Parker card readings. Uh, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, pile number four. For those of you who picked this beautiful citrine. And the white rose, which is new start and wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Yes, it is, Aristotle. So, I'm going to read a little bit from the book because I like what it has to say. Um, in the Victorian language of flowers, the white rose held the promise of a new beginning, especially in romantic matters. <laughs> the petals of the rose are like a spiral. The wisdom you have learned along the way keeps circling back to you, lifting you up to new heights. Even the pain of life's thorny lessons are signs that you have grown and are now prepared for a fresh new beginning. So maybe there is some romance coming in. Let's check out these cards. So first set of cards I'm gonna are what we need to clean, what we need to refresh in our life, what we need to clean out of those closets and under that bed and outside of that wardrobe. Let's see what we need to change. Ten of coins in reverse. <clears throat> Seven of cups. Chariot in reverse. Five of vo uh, voices, which is swords, and the sun in reverse. Okay, so what's going on? Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles speaks to me of usually inheritance, a lottery win, an investment gain, and in reverse could be a loss of that. Um, maybe you... Um, made a bad investment maybe oh it could be uh, inheritance that has gone bad that you're still in disputes with it but ten of coins is also this energy of a long-term relationship could be ending and it could be a relationship could be a friendship could be a marriage could be whatever it is that you are it could be family relationship as well with uh, what is going on out there. There's a lot of uh, different opinions and conflicts. So it could be a lot of um, having to um, just uh, cut cords with people. Interesting. And the Seven of Cups energy is this energy of um, um, dreaminess and just having so many different um, options in front of you, high expectations, um, indecisiveness, smoke screen. It could be a lot of things. It could also be a good thing though. It could be like, let's just see the chariot in reverse is also this idea of like a pause in movement because usually it's like about moving, changing a home or success. So it's like a something is holding you back. The Five of Swords in reverse is actually good. It's like releasing a little bit of the conflict and the inner struggle. But the, the sun in reverse is like the dimming of your light. It's the unhappiness. It's, like, it's almost like if you're in... It's, um, let's do this, like here. 
if you're in this um, let's say if you're in a relate long-term relationship you're feeling like lackluster in it you're feeling like there's no you have no more um, energy you don't even you have no energy to like work on this relationship anymore you feel like a bit like low like low vibration it's interesting and you're like not interesting and moving forward you're not interested in doing much of anything actually you're just interested in just like dreaming and wishful thinking and imagining things in the future but not really moving away from it and 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 it and staying in that kind of um very um um stagnant energy that's people who are in a relationship so if there could be those that are like or in a family thing if you're if you're having problems with your family or friends it's like you're and you're awake unless you're awake and you're you're one of the awakened souls and you're like having problem and your 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 light is being dimmed like you you're wanting to spread your message of light you're wanting to spread your message but they're just stomping on the light they're like um, putting a um, cloud they're clouding you and they're keeping you from expanding your horizons or keeping you from um, speaking your truth and you're feeling like oh my god like every time I speak my truth every time I say something I'm stuck to like they're they're just shutting me down Mm -hmm. interesting 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 so and then there's like people like the ten of coins is very pertinent here with the sun because this it's like a feeling of um a feeling of lack a feeling of moving away from uh something that's not serving you anymore but it's more like or it could be someone who is uh spending too much money someone who's gambling someone who's um has a really bad relationship with money at this moment and it's making you feel very uh, depressed and anxious and stressed and and you're you're not sure how to um tackle this situation you're not sure how to you you could be ego driven at this moment with this five of swords energy cuz swords energy is also mental so it feels like there's some heaviness here for you by uh and it's like so now this clean up is to get rid of your attachment to money get rid of your attachment to um success and ambition and ego get rid of your attachment your desire to stay low in this light not you don't have a desire to stay in it but you're finding yourself in this uh, low vibration so it's time to like shine again it's time to step outside of this dreaming it like not dreaminess but you're 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 just like you she's just laying down there with the cups she's not she, she's not getting up and doing she's just like afraid almost she's like fearful of taking the next step let's see what you need to keep protect your dreams you are the guardian of your precious <clears throat> dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them it could be your dreams but also like interesting the seven of cups energy so you want to dream then dream big go to your heart and start to dream the what what you want to manifest in this world instead of coming from a place of lack and saying oh i can't do this i lost my job or i got this job and it's just not working out for like step outside of that kind of egoic thought or i can't move forward i want to travel i want to move my house i can't even move my house because i have no more money it's like this like step outside of all this lack energy all this uh, negative energy and start dreaming big start um going into your heart space Let's see what else they have here and finding balance beautiful find the balance between your work rest and play time and you will have more energy harmony and productivity in your life take a power nap yes here so there you go again take a nap but don't be like fearful <laughs> find that light inside you find that that um uh, the chariot it's like a gladiator right find that energy back like 
pick up those reins of the horses and go move forward. Let's see what the outcome is. Closure and peace. Awesome. That's what I feel exactly. This closure is perfect. It feels like it's time to um, cut those relationships that are not working for you. Cut those attachments that are not working for you. Say goodbye to the ego. Say goodbye to all that is like dimming your light. All that is like keeping you in fear and anxiety and stress. Cut out all those mental energies that are just like a struggle and conflict. And find that peace inside you. Find that peace by, by envisioning your peace. This is the new start. This is your new wisdom. It's to release yourself from all these energies. Sometimes we need to, um, sometimes in closure, closure is like one of the most beautiful energies. So it's like once you forgive yourself or forgive other people, you can have closure and you can move on to this. All right, so let's see what other message from, oh, love. That's so beautiful. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I myself am love. That's so beautiful. Come from your heart. And then we got the final angel message, and it says, Oh, no. With <laughs> no, no, with an exclamation point. So the no, the exclamation point means no. <laughs> so what does that mean? I kind of like it. You know what? No always scares me every time it comes out. I'm like, oh my God, why no? I, I'm going to yes, right? But no is like, no is like your angels and your guides and God and whoever you believe in is telling you it's a, it's the wrong path you're taking. It's okay. Like it, it's like scary at the beginning, but find that closure and take that other path because the other path will be full of success will be full of light and love and and victory and freedom and sovereignty and independence say no to whatever this is and bring in that prosperity back into your life bring in that abundance back into your life bring in that healthy relationship back into your life say no to the dreamy and the fear the fear of like of moving forward I like it. Say no to it because something is better is coming your way. A new start, a new wisdom. Something is waiting for you in the balance pile for. It's just you having to own up to some things that are happening in your life that are uh, you probably know already and you just need a little kick in the ass <laughs> to do it. And it's like, forgive yourself forgive others, find that path of least resistance, find that peace. And if you get a gut instinct and it says, keep saying no to you, there is a reason for it. Listen to that. There's always a reason for spirit to say no. And it means no, because they know, they know your future. So, wow, this is a heavy little bit of a read, but I mean, to, to spring clean and to start something new, we always have to release our old patterns, our old behaviors, our old ways of doing things, because obviously they're not working, right? It's not working, so why harp on it? Why try? Just like, uh, this is perfect, this card. Just close that path and head to the light. It's almost like they belong together like this. Head to that light. Because peace is on the other side of that ending. All right, pile number four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope this resonated. It was a nice read, even though it's a lot of releasing here to do, of like um, heavy energies that are surrounding you in your life. But by releasing these heavy energies, you can find balance again. You can find light again. You can find that peace that you, were, that you need, and that calmness again. Check out the other cards if this didn't resonate, but um, I love you and I'll see you next time.